Zen the Stone Zero, pros and cons. Let's talk a little bit about them, shall we? This is an imaginary opening theme song. Theme song, oh. So apparently in the recent updates, uh, we are going to be able to change the time to whatever we want. So that will help with a lot of quests because when you want to do the quest for Officer Mew Mew over here. Some of them are very time sensitive quests, like you can only complete them during the morning, afternoon, evening, or midnight. So that's gonna help with doing those quests. So that's good that they are bringing that kind of updates, right? Apparently another update they're going to give us is something like uh, Honkai Star Rail, where once your energy is full, there will be a secondary thing here, which your full energy can spill in, so you don't have to worry about missing your out on your energy. We'll just go into another thing here, but that has not been updated yet. But it will be the same as Honkai Star Rail if you do play that game, which is very uh, useful for when you know you might be too busy and you forgot to spend your energy, or maybe you want to just like do a, a mega back to back to back to back grind for weapons or something, right? Or uh, other. Uh, materials and you just want to get them all out of the way so having the energy trickle inside will be very useful. Now Zen the Stone Zero is pretty different with how they do their cutscenes, how the gameplay goes, and how you can just go around the town and all that right? But you can only go around town with the owner of the shop whichever one you pick like if you pick the brother you can only go around as the brother and if you pick the sister you can only go around as a sister so that was, was kind of a weird thing for me because normally in like Kokai Star Rail right you can pick whoever you want to go around with if you have the character and then it just switches to if they need this character to show for a scene you know like a cutscene or something or dialogue wise then they just turn into that right but this one doesn't let us do that instead what you can see is the characters out and about and just if you're trying to put up their trust, you can get them to come around whenever you want. And then you can be like next to them and all that, right? But I do want them to implement it so we can actually change the characters we want. Like how it is in Honkai Star Rail and Genshin as well. It kind of feels a little bit lonely. Like you use all your summons, right? To get characters that you really want, cringe. right? And then you can't really see them other than when you're going to training, when you're going to do battle. And when you're doing the missions, that's when you turn into them, sure. But other than that, it kind of gets a little bit sad that you can't just roam around peacefully with the characters at least that's how i see it so maybe in a future update they will change that so i can actually pick someone i want like hopefully yeah, when i get rena i can just pick rena and just go around town as rena like i would like that very much so so please let me do that zenless zone zero another thing i don't like about zenless zone zero is when you get the character you can see what they are so these guys are a this one's s this one's s you can see what it is right but here if you don't have the character you don't know what they are so you don't know if it's an s or if it's an a so if they're easier to get or tougher to get and if you need a banner or something for them i would wish that they like unlock this and at least showed us what their grade is so we know how to like try to get them i don't know it's just weird that we can't see the grade without getting the character themselves so if you click on this now we can see it right but why can't we just see it while we're here i don't know it's like a minor thing i would want them to change so the nice thing about howl is even if it's a midnight you know, and he's sleeping, you can still go to Howl and wake him up and say, Oi, I need my daily scratch card to see what I won. Of course, I did feel guilty when I actually woke Howl up to do that. But when we do get the updates to change the time to whatever we want it to be, then I don't have to feel guilty for waking up because I can just make it, you know, a time that when he's not sleeping and get the, him to give me the scratcher for the day. So let's talk about fast travel. You don't necessarily have to come to the parking lot of the store to get fast travel to work for you. You can just press M and then you can just see which places you can go to and then you just press where you want to go and then you will get teleported to there. So you teleport to this location and there you go. Like this is pretty nice. Is it weird that sometimes we crash on the sofa even though our bed is like one floor up? I mean sure I get you're tired but 
I think it's much better if you take the chance to just get up and go to your bed, you know, instead of crashing on the sofa. But you know, you do you. Also, I don't understand why they changed her name from Rin to Bell for the English. Because I have a Japanese voiceover, so when they talk, he keeps calling her Rin, right? But when you look at the dialogue, her name is Belle, so I don't know why they felt like they changed it. I mean, Rin is not that hard of a name to pronounce or anything, so I don't know. Because your name is still wise, even in the Japanese voiceover, so why didn't her name change? I'm not entirely sure. So one of your dailies you can do is you can select the promoter you have, and then this is a feature that just came into the game like yesterday or something, where you just press recommended tapes, and then it will give you all the tapes readied and then all you have to do is open because before you had to like actually go to the tapes and then click everything you could use the filter to find them easier sure but you had to click them yourself and then press add manually but with this you just set them up you can do it and then open your shop easy peasy so this was a very good update that they gave us so another thing i noticed in zenless zone zero that i think is a huge plus for the game is basically the fact that they count our searches for us. I really do hope they give this feature to Honkai SRL and Genshin for the banner's sake because it makes it much easier. And also I could get her sort of, but my luck in Zenless Zone Zero has been horrible banner-wise, so I'm just saving for Jane Doe, you know? I'm saving my guarantee for Jane Doe, okay? Because I tried to pull on the previous banner and I did not get the banner character. I got a Soldier 11 who I'm not even interested in leveling at all. So I would like to keep my <laughs> guarantee for Jane though. Thank you very much. So these are the weekly custom schedules and you can pick from six options. So that's pretty nice. Like you can pick whichever one you want. Usually I just go for the cats because they're pretty easy to photo and just get it done with. Or you could just do your eat bowl of noodles because you usually try to eat your bowl of noodles to gain some kind of perk from eating and stuff. So it's up to you. But I do prefer just picking the cats and getting it done with for the week and then that's it. And then of course your dailies are pretty simple. So you just open the business, get the scratch card, then log into the game. And then, you know, whichever one you want to do. Like, you don't even have to fight to get this daily done. So let's talk about your training, right? You can see what there is to get from the lineup and all that. And then you can pick where you want to go. And then you just have to press go and it will teleport you. And then there you go. Also, let's say you want to do something else, you can just press this arrow and then you can go back here to check all the stuff right i do spend my energy and custom a lot because you can customize what kind of enemies you want to fight you can also make farming for materials a lot faster like if you just want to farm for a specific material what you want to farm it's faster and stuff instead of doing it from the 60 energy one just go to this one and give up 100 energy and then it goes by faster at least that's my opinion on that so you do whatever you want to do because sometimes when you go and pick a coffee right it will give you a boost for your drop so you know don't waste your coffee boost in custom if that's what you're doing but if you're not doing that just go to custom what i will say is if you're trying to level up your account pretty fast keep doing the custom and spend 100 energy because that gives you a lot of xp now let's showcase some of the battle okay so this is what it looks like when you start battles in training i'm doing my custom one right now so So once the support triggers, it's better to use them then because then they'll go like where the enemy is instead of when you, you know, change it without a triggering. It will just pop up where you are and they won't do any extra action or anything. So you. Normally, you do want to wait for either this to pop up or for the summon to show up in the bottom right corner. So you got to keep an eye on that. And of course, a lot of the characters do different stuff with their abilities. And it does help to do the training so you can actually understand which character do you need to like keep pressing a certain button to create something. And which character you can just like... Simply press E once and then they will do that. 
See, it gives you a thousand XP in custom. That's what I'm saying. It makes it much faster if you need to level up quicker. So my thing with the combat is like most of it is pretty straightforward of how you do it. It's better to have teammates so they can you know trigger the other teammates so then you can just flip in between them and all that. That's pretty good. But it's kind of hard to tell when your Q is ready. You know, like, sometimes I wish we could see the Q fill up. Also, it doesn't matter which character you are on when the Q starts glowing. You can use whatever character uh, Q you want as long as you switch to them. Because the Q is only used once. So you gotta make sure you're picking the right character you want to use the Q with. Until you fill it up again. And then see if you don't press anything, you just stay with the same character you're in. When you try to complete the request that Officer Mimu has, sometimes you have to be very specific of what you need to do to complete it. And also sometimes if you can't seem to find the bamboo you need to complete the request for the achievement, you kind of have to maybe go search for the bamboo in a different city and then later on the bamboo will show up in a different city. So it can get a little bit confusing when you have to do that. So bamboos are pretty cute though. So one of my biggest gripes with this game, aside from not being able to zoom in to, you know, look closer to the character and look at the details more nice and all that, right? Is the fact that this game has a big a game file size. It needed 110 gigabytes space just to unzip the file and the game itself is you know 70 gigabytes or so and that's a, a big game man sure it's almost the same size as Genshin because Genshin's like 80 gigabytes or something right well like Genshin has been out for a few years and you know with a lot of expansions and all that right a lot more places to go to that's the size it became so I don't know why this game is so big and file size. I had to do a lot of remote uninstalling games and reinstalling games once I had enough space to unzip this game and actually play it. So I actually missed out on Ellen's banner because of this and it's very sad for me. I cry every time I see like no Ellen. Ellen's gone. But yeah, why does this game just have to be so big and file size? Why game? Why? 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 If you have any pros and cons relating to ZZZ, let me know in the comments and go watch another video because I make a lot of videos. Who knows what the topic will be? I don't know. It's chaos here. Let's see you later.